Hello YouTube, so today I've got um, my Nintendo Switch hooked up to this TV here, which is made by the same company as PlayStation. And the reason I'm calling it PlayStation TV is because it supports um, DualShock 4. I have a controller there to hook it up. So I'm going to try um, like hooking up the controller. Some stuff. So um, here's the Switch HDMI. I'm going to, um, let me see, if I go into home, I go into settings, can I actually, say, um, yeah, but it actually has, um, Has a whole setting for DualShock 4. So if I go to home and go to settings, see should show it. It's pretty really strange that it doesn't it used to show it. Yeah, it see it says Sony Entertainment Network. It's like PSN, I guess. But it used to have. Well, it used to have the ability to like hook up my PlayStation controller. Um, let's see here. All right, I'll just not do that for now. But like, there was like a whole screen I remember. So let's go into the place no, Nintendo Switch inputs. Now this thing was like a pain in the ass to set up. I, I figured out to move the TV, but in reality, this whole thing, there's like something behind the desk, and she had to hook up a surge protector. It was like a mess. So um, let's get my controller and test it out. So I have my switch down there. That you can hook up a PlayStation controller, but I was wondering is if like you have um like if you hook it up to the TV and you have a PlayStation plug in, will the controller on the PlayStation app connected to the TV control the PlayStation? If you know what I mean, because the I tried before the remote control actually does control the PlayStation that way. That's not my TV. Score goal of one hand, oh wow. Strum. Here we go, if only I had a better way to record this. Yeah. So apparently this works, it's pain in the ass set up though. Anyway, I'm gonna go play this game. I'll just record this later. If I don't capture card or something in my room.